Hello my Capricorns and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie and of course I'm Debbie. I am going to be reading for September 15th through the 21st. R you know right after the 15th or right before the 15th we have that new moon in Virgo. Towards the 21st we have um, what is it we have Pluto in Capricorn trining with Virgo. So there's some interesting energies for you. Now I've done an overview, so take a peek at that because I talk a little bit more about that training. There's some interesting um, cleanup activity going on with that uh, stuff with Virgo and Pluto. So I kind of feel like you know, there, you know, be prepared to clean house. And I know that kind of goes along with the um, overview in itself. So let's see what we've got going on here. Remember, these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Um, again, too, I, you know, there's a lot of sweeping. There's a lot of, again, and I know that that's that overview. But I do feel like there's a lot of getting rid of the old and, um, you know, bringing in the new. Let's see what else we might have going on here. Higher, um, higher power, Holy Spirit. Please tell me. Please give us words. Let us know what does Capricorn. Oh, the magician. The magician has fallen out. So let's see. What else is there for our Capricorns? A time of magic for you. A time of manifestation. A time for you to um, get things in place okay so let's see everything is reversed so it all has a little bit stronger energies let's go on so we have a one this is major arcana this is a one new beginning new start archangel raziel raziel interesting angel um, archangel really deals a lot with hidden energies hidden occult type of energies occult in itself is hidden so i was being a little redundant with that um, the other thing about the um, Archangel Raziel, it's to remind us all, as above, so below, as in heaven, so on earth. The magician is someone that says, if you speak it, it can happen. If you will it to be, it will happen. This is about manifesting. Remember the new moon. The new moon, especially to the full moon, is all about requesting, requesting, requesting. And the new moon in Virgo, earth energy again, is on the 14th so you've got 14th 15th 16th to really do a new start but you can still all the way up to that full moon just be requesting request 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 keep your words positive keep your vibrations high don't allow the negative or darker energies to keep you off of your game now you know again you know i know that not everything happens the way we think it's gonna happen of course <laughs> And, you know, and I'm always telling everybody, if you don't try, the answer is always a no. If you do try, you could still get that no, but you can get some yeses. And I do feel like this is a time where you trying is going to get more yeses than no's. You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Okay, let's see what our next card is. Two of air, but now we have some decisions to make. Oh, decisions, decisions. I feel like, you know, okay, so twos, crossroads, choices, one way, one way or the other. And once you go down one way, this is no longer an option. And if you go down this way, this way is no longer an option. So there's some options being given to you, but we also have air energy. And now it could also be partnering too. That is a two also. But air energy is our Libra, which that is a lot of that is trying to create balance. The south node is in Libra, very important. And also we're about to go into Libra season, so that's very important too. So um, it's all about trying to create a balance. But Mike, I'm kind of getting this thought. Are you trying to create a balance at the cost of <coughs> at the cost of doing something that you know to be the right thing for you? Are you trying to compromise when you know that maybe maybe just not compromising is the way to go? Now, again, I don't live in your shoes. I don't walk in your shoes. Let's put it that way. So you have to do what is right for you. And the air energy, again, does tell you, you know, making plans, thinking things through, hearing some news, does tell you to be objective, does tell you to be more logical. So it's not, 
it isn't um, pulling in that emotional side. So, you know, if your boss is giving you some problems, it's not a good time to go and just say, I quit, okay? That's not what I'm saying at all. You might need to think things through a little bit, and it, sometimes there is some compromising happening, and when you compromise, and if it doesn't feel right, okay, you might have to go down that road for a little bit of time, but then you can also make your plans on how to create a new road for you. I don't know who that was for, but it was very, I hope that it made sense to anyone. Okay, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate. Pretending there is no problem. Next card, reversed again. The Eight of Water. So Eight of Water. Eight is unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. Water is our, our, uh, our Scorpio, our Pisces, and our Cancer. So Pisces is the one to watch. Neptune is what are your dreams? What are your wishes? What is it that you really want, to want out of life, my Capricorns? So the eight, you know, the eight, again, unlimited opportunities, that water is about digging deep, looking into that, looking into that part of you that's just kind of like, am I living the life I want to be? Now, I'm not saying that you're going to make, you make these really big changes, but there's a lot of uh, looking deep and really, there's a lot of self-discovery for you, my Capricorns here. It, you know, you might say, yes, I do want something more. I do want to do this, this, or that. The timing just may not be right, but many times over, you can start talking about it. You can start putting it out there. You can start manifesting it. And then when the time becomes right, it then will fall into place. Okay, a desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful, spiritual, and emotional growth. So interesting with that too. Here we go. Because sometimes when it's time to move on, it means, like I said, this one's no longer the option. Now, is this just to help you to be to identify what it is that you've been wanting? You know, I'm not trying to say that you jump right into it. Sometimes we all have to make our plans, okay? So let's see what we've got here. Higher power, Holy Spirit, what else for our Capricorns do you have? What else do you have? This one, I mean, this does have a lot of power to it, though. This has a lot of power to it. And if you can identify, oh, okay, if you can identify what it is that you've been looking for or wanting, you can start speaking it. Okay, here we go. This is reversed. It was flipped over, but it's also a number three, celebration, creation, the power of three. Your chakra systems, which we have chakras all over, but there's the seven main ones that people talk about. Solar plexus chakra, the third chakra going up. And, you know, and the third chakra, this is about your integrity. This is doing what is right. Now, doing what is right um, by the world standards could be doing what is right by your own standards could be. Sometimes the world standards and your standards are not necessarily in alignment. Maybe that's what this introspection is going to be about. But this is about integrity. This is about what you can live with. This is what, you know, where do you see yourself, if you make one choice, where do you see yourself in five years, and can you live with that? So there is, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot going on with, with this time for you. Again, it doesn't mean that you have to act upon it in, in the physical, but it might mean you have to act upon it in the metaphysical, and again, it's what, you know, it, it, again, it has to be something to do. Can you live with the answers? Can you live with the outcome? It's always interesting, isn't it? We think we can. I want what I want what I want, but can you live with it? Put your, you know, project yourself down the road a little bit more, okay? Let's see what else we might have. A lot of times people do think that they can, oh, yes, if I do this, I can definitely live with that. And then when they find themselves in that situation or they've made their decision, they're like, you know what? I might have needed to rethink about, rethink that. So pray, meditate, connect with your higher powers, connect with your spirit guides. Really, you know, just because, you know, just because it's, it's there doesn't mean that it's what you need to be doing. Okay, so let's see. I know that's a little conflicting, but... This is a time for discovery. It's a time for discovery for you, my 
Capricorns. Let's see. What else for our Capricorns do you want to say? Okay. Let go of guilt. Interesting with this. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. This is extremely, this is extremely powerful. You know, it's extremely powerful. And I hope that you can, uh, you know, you can do this. I think everybody needs to do this. But I love, trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Okay, crystals and energies. And then I'll do the um, angel answers. So let's see. What crystal or energy would be good for my Capricorns? What do we have for our Capricorns? What do we have? Yet yeah, a lot of uh, introspective um, energies here. A lot of looking in. And then a lot of letting go. I like that too. Here we go. Pyrite. Oh, I don't have my bracelets on. Good change of fortune. Success. Oh, no, I have hematite. <laughs> Success. Renewed focus. Leadership. All right. So get your question ready. I'm not, you know, this is more for fun. So don't go, uh, like I said, don't go changing jobs. It's easier to get a job when you, when you have a job. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, but you're... You've got a lot of manifestation energy this during this period. So let's see what we've got going on. Remember, Pluto wants to clean up their mess. Maybe not the way you want it to be cleaned up. Um, you know, a lot of this has to be about letting go of the past in order to go forward. But, okay, for our Capricorns, what do we have? What's a good answer for our Capricorns? Okay. Trust. Trust. Very interesting. Trust. Okay. Who do you trust, my cappies? Interesting stuff. Very deep. Very, a lot of things going on. So, but you know what? It is. We have a lot of ascension energies happening. We've got a lot of timelines merging. <sighs> Breathe. Okay, my Capricorns, do me that favor again. I know. Do the like, share, subscribe, click in on the bell for notifications. It helps. If you're watching me on Rumble, then Rumble me. The most important part of all of this, my Capricorns, are is always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.